great quarantine of 2020 sent shockwaves throughout the world. Stocks have stopped trading on Wall Street after a 7% drop. Coronavirus! I'm telling you, shit is real! This virus this time might be the one time that brings us all together and unifies us. No more rest now, forget all that. We stay home. The threat of COVID-19, the coronavirus, kept everyone in their homes. Most have refused to speak of it until now. They said, wash your hands, wash your hands. Thank God I had lube. You're about to hear from these exceptional men and women in this special edition of Profiles and Courage, Quarantine of 2020, Survivors Speak. Greg Romero Wilson was living his best life until COVID struck. Most people had maybe two, three food delivery services available to them at that time. And, and, and you had to keep in mind, 85, 90% of the restaurants in Los Angeles kept serving food, so you, you had only about 85 to 90 percent of the restaurants to choose from. This was the building that I was confined to. It was like a prison, like imagine being locked inside an 800 square foot cell with nothing but comfortable furniture. Fanny McGinnis never had to battle addiction in her entire life until COVID-19. I started buying toilet paper. Everywhere I could buy it, I would just pile up my car, my trunk, and bring home piles of, I still have toilet paper here at the house. People started buying up all the food. You couldn't get bread, you couldn't get milk. They shut down St. Patrick's Day. Are you kidding me? All the bars closed. They shut down every casino on the Las Vegas Strip. Arnold Feldman may or may not have lost his mind. I say, what's going on in the news? People seem upset, and they're saying there's, a, there's a, an outbreak with James and, and, and Stoibus and Grech, and uh, people are getting not feeling good. And, I, and I'm going, oh, I don't want that. They said, yeah, you got to be very careful. If you go outside or whatever, you could get a germ. So I figured, well, hey, listen, I don't need to go outside. I got no life. I got my wife and her two semi-attractive sisters. They, they're fine. They don't need me there. So I decided I'm going to stay in the Tupperware container until this whole thing blows over. And that's what I did. I stayed in the Tupperware Brandon and Tina James were pillars of their community until the quarantine shuttered them inside. I tell you, I, I remember, I remember this one day, I'm sorry. I know, honey. It's I'm okay. sorry, it's just, it's I don't, okay. if I could just have a moment, I don't, I don't usually talk about this. I'm gonna talk about it today. Hey everybody, I'm Eric Lewin. Thanks for watching. Uh, just wanted to put something out there in the hope that we don't all go insane too quickly. Uh, please consider donating to either of these COVID relief funds. Uh, click the links below. They could really use your help. Uh, hope to see you soon for part two. Thanks for watching.